Great things can and often do come in small packages. The tiny seed that grows into the towering tree. And yet the smallest bird often sings the sweetest song. So why isn't it possible to build a compact car that rivals even the more expensive and larger vehicles on the road today? Well, what do you know? I think I found it. And it's the 2014 Mazda 3 hatchback. It has a little bit of something for everyone. Beautiful styling, excellent sportiness, fuel economy, passenger carrying capacity, cargo carrying capacity, and, well, an affordable price. Why don't we take a look at it and see for ourselves. Now the styling contrast starts right up front with a more bold appearance with the new grill, the five-point flying wings that meld right into the beautiful headlamp system throughout. And of course with our Sport Grand Touring Edition we have the nice glossy finish on the grill. And then you notice as we come around the Bi-Xenon headlamp up front excellent styling. The side of the vehicle is accentuated by that longer front end that looks very nice when combined with an ample passenger compartment area. The lower shoulder lines though curve back to their rear cabin design of the vehicle and it to me looks different and I think it's important. You don't want to just have uh, mini Mazda 6, you want something different and special and that's what the Mazda 3 provides. Well Mazda certainly gives you a variety of models to choose from and different trim levels within each and the new third generation Mazda 3 is absolutely outstanding all the way around. Improved performance, improved fuel efficiency, improved styling, nicer, more luxurious interior, better tech, and they've made it affordable for the masses. You have your base SV model, which is a sedan only, and then you go on to the S edition, the Touring, and of course the Grand Touring. Now when you have the Sport Grand Touring like we're in right now with the tech package, you've got a little bit of everything at your fingertips. I have the controls for the stereo system, for my cruise control, hands-free, all easily accessible on my steering wheel. Plus, if you're a six-speed manual transmission driver, you got to stick with a 2.0 liter engine. But if you like to drive six-speed automatic with a sport shift, you've got it here with paddle shifters so that you can control it at your fingertips and have a little more zoom zoom fun. Acceleration, very brisk, and that's good. It's, this is designed to be fun to drive, and acceleration is a part of it. The interior is extremely well designed. Matter of fact, it's even award winning with this particular one. This two tone combination with the beautiful red double stitched throughout, a little bit of carbon fiber accent here brushed aluminum there and even the chrome treatment on the registers for the air conditioning here just add a little bit of class to it that's much appreciated. You have you know your nice center console unit, a little bit of storage space, two USB adapters or connectors or you know those things you stick in there and they make stuff happen plus an SD card connector uh, that's kinda nice. It has so much of the, 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 the things that people are used to in a much more expensive automobile. I have my heads-up display, which is really nice and adjustable for the different heights of the individuals. I have my 7-inch touchscreen right here, which I, it doesn't work when you're moving, but you know, I've got my little 
control command knob down here and push button controls as well for that. And I have hands-free with the Mazda Connect. I've got the Bluetooth, I've got the hands-free, I've got the, I don't know, I'm repeating myself, but there's a lot to do. Uh, you got Pandora, connectivity, Twitter, Facebook, you can get texting stuff to whatever people do with that on, in a car, I don't know. I'm babbling now, sorry. I just babbled away, babble, babble, babble. With the two liter engine, you're gonna generate 155 horsepower, 150 foot-pounds of torque. And that'll get you, you know, with your manual transmission, 29 miles per gallon around town, 40 on the highway. Now, if you go with the automatic six-speed transmission, you're gonna get 30 miles a gallon around town and 40 on the highway. If you bump it up to the 2.5 liter engine, which will get you 184 horsepower, 185 foot-pounds of torque, then you will get uh, about 27 around town, 37 on the highway. But if you have, like in the S Grand Touring Edition, we have the I E Loop system, then you are going to get one mile per gallon better, 28 and 38. So the choice is yours. And of course, you have different trim levels. You have a, a base interior with a base cloth, a little bit more luxurious cloth interior. You have a leatherette interior, and of course you have the full leather like we're in right now. And with these sport seats, nicely bolstered, they're extremely comfortable, and I get a six-way adjustable power control on the driver's seat. Now the thing that I love about the hatchback, besides the styling, and again, some people have an issue with that, but I like it. Uh, you have the versatility of that hatchback, and with the back seat up, you have 20.2 cubic feet of cargo space, and if you drop the 60-40 split rear seat, you have 77.1 cubic feet of cargo space, and that's huge for a smaller car like this, not to mention useful. For the third generation Mazda 3, you're going to sit a little lower, you're going to hang a little wider, and be a little bit longer than the previous edition. And that translates into a little bit better road feel, which is nice. Of course, with your independent suspension, you've got McPherson struts in front, multi-link rear springs in the back. Uh, it gives you a nice sense of control. It is a little firm, but it's certainly not uh, overdone by any means. And you have electric power steering, which with the front wheel drive configuration gives you a very quick responsiveness and very good feedback. You know, you certainly can't complain. Plus the visibility all the way around. Obviously, you know, you do have excellent visibility throughout front and side mirrors, but I'm always looking this way. If I need to look backwards, I'll look on my seven inch screen with my backup camera, as well as my uh, cross traffic detection protection. See, I knew you were there. <laughs> I knew you were there. Cause a little light shines in the uh, mirror whenever you have somebody in your blind spot. And that's comforting. Now, if you can get all of this technology, all of this sportiness, all of this fuel economy, all of this luxury and technology and safety wrapped into a vehicle, it just turns into a definite winning combination. And I like it because I like to win, don't you? <laughs>